Hey guys, how's it going? Sterless there here, long time no see. I've got a really special video that I want to put out for you guys today, and as you can guess from the sneak peek in the background here, and then even the video name, we've got a new channel video intro. I'm super pumped about it. It goes really well with the new rebranding that we did two years ago, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. So if you remember from way back when, eight years ago when I started this channel, I used to have a video intro that I used. It went really well with the content I was pushing out at the time, and I was super appreciative and still am of the friend from high school that helped me to create it. But it was time for something new, and even though it seemed like a super daunting task to me, I've got a great friend, Venom Rain X. I'll uh, link his Twitch to the description if I can get that out and uh, check him out because he does some great stuff, has some great gameplay, and uh, he was just a really big help in getting to where I am now. So let's kind of take a blast through the past here and check out some of the old intros that I've used on this channel and then make our way to where we are today. All right, so what you're seeing now was the first channel intro that I ever used. It was made, like I said, from a friend in high school, and uh, it was really cool at the time, and I still really like it but just not what I'm going for so much anymore. So that was part of the, the new design and things like that. But uh, if you remember it, cool. If not, something new. So yeah, that's where it was. And after this intro, I decided to try and give it a, my own shot and uh, make one for a different set of content that I was pushing out. I was putting out World of Warcraft videos at the time, and I wanted some animation to go along with that. So let's check that one out. So if you see the one that's on the screen now, uh, you'll see it's not even like the right 1920 by 1080 resolution. It was my first ever crack at animation, and I literally made each frame frame by frame in a paint program and then use my video editor to line them up and try to make this two second long video. I don't even know how many frames were in it, but uh, let's check it out because I'm still pretty proud of it. So as you can see, I literally animated this guy's jaw opening, uh, the fire coming out, the letters coming through the flames, and then kind of all disappearing back up into his jaw. Um, I thought it was really cool at the time. I still do. It, it was kind of just a fun thing for me to try to do with my super rudimentary understanding of animation. Um, it was for World of Warcraft content at the time, and it was like the expansions kind of cover photo that they were using. So... The next animation I'm going to show you guys is what led to the current one that we'll be using as the final product on our channel. So like I said earlier, uh, last weekend I just kind of got inspired and texted a good friend of mine and said, Hey man, uh, what do you think about helping me use Blender to make a channel intro? <clears throat> he knew what I was talking about. I'm sure we've talked about it in the past, but just something that I didn't think I could do on my own and knew that this guy was an expert, and uh, he really is. And so he dropped everything he was doing, huge shout out to him for that, and jumped on Discord with me, screen shared, and we kind of just tag team it and worked through ideas together to get this final product here. So this wasn't like the final render, which is why it kind of looks pixelated and maybe not super high quality, but it was like our quick and dirty of let's see how this looks and uh, before we decide to go any further with it, which was a good thing we did. Um, so a lot of my elements, what I wanted, I wanted my logo, obviously, the reflective floor, kind of the black scene, and smoke. I wanted there to be blue and red involved as well, since those are some main colors with the channel here. So he put the pixelated um, particles falling down and then made the smoke blue. And so I kind of took this and I said, hey man, I want to change a few things, but I couldn't ask him to stay any longer, you know, because he'd already been working for like four to five hours on me to get to this point. And uh, he was super supportive about it. And he was just like, yeah, man, uh, take off with it. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there. And so that's what I did. I downloaded Blender for myself and just started working through what he had given me, uh, watching a lot of tutorials online. And then I got to this next step. So, like I said earlier, this is kind of the first version of what I wanted this channel intro to look like, and really my first attempt at doing 3D animation and design. Um, there's a lot I totally didn't know still, and it's kind of crazy to see where I came from this to get to where we're going to end up. But uh, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's check it out. So 
So you'll see I decided to keep a lot of the same uh, video design elements that we used in our first kind of tag team effort. Uh, the smoke, the reflective surface, but it doesn't look nearly as good as Venom Reigns did um, just because I really didn't know what I was doing. But uh, I thought it was neat how the smoke mixed and things like that, but we kind of got this pinkish, purplish color in there, and I, I didn't mind the purple, but I didn't love the pink. And so uh, some of the things I wanted to change was I wanted more of a scene effect. I liked how his was darker in the background than mine's just kind of this gray. And then this logo. It looks great. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I love the artwork that I've created, but... I thought I could do more, and so that's what really set me off to watching a lot of tutorials and things like that about Blender, which I will link into the description. All the videos that I use, make sure to check those content creators out because they're super awesome and they give really good tutorials on how to do things to kind of piece together into a final scene like I did myself. So uh, let's, uh, let's do this unveiling. Alright, so this is the final product, the end product, and uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting anymore. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so like you saw, that was the final product that I've come out with, and uh, really all this may not seem like much, and um, it wouldn't have me meant much to me either a few days ago, but kind of learning what I've learned through using Blender, listening to a lot of tutorials, watching them, etc., you really come to find out how much hard work it is to make a 7 second long animation. That 7 second animation, go ahead and guess right now, how long you think it took to render which is to compile it all and make it into that kind of closed loop video that you see final product, how long you took, do you think that took to run? Um, on my computer, which is not kind of bad by any means, undisturbed, which means it was just working on its own, uh, no other programs open, dedicated CPU, dedicated GPU space to it, ran for over 72 hours straight. I don't even want to know what my electric bill is about to be like, but my CPU and GPU almost at 100% just cranking out tile by tile to get the resolution and the NVIDIA where I wanted. So 72 hours I've waited and just let this thing run, let my computer sit. But let me know what you think about the animation in the comments. Give me a like, subscribe if you think it was cool, and then if you want me to kind of work you through what I did in Blender, if you're new to Blender and you just want to see what it's like um, and to see how you can get from where I was a week ago, not knowing anything, how to even, you know, I mean nothing, I mean nothing to get to this point where you've got a full scene, camera work, things like that, I would love to help and I won't be as great as the tutorials that I watched earlier, but I can give you the basics and point you in the right direction. So thanks for watching you guys, you know I appreciate your support, had to break out the uh, Stirtless There merch, the one and only line that me and my best friends have got and uh, thanks.